Ladies, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Mandalorians, Twi'leks, Gungans, Bothans, who died for this information. Huh. Mon Mothas, General Rikens, General Medines. I can go on and on. I know a lot of Star Wars characters. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Welcome to the new Force Order spinoff show, YouTube exclusive, called Ta Toyin. I am joined as usual by my good friend, the Greek god, Papadon. Spiro is, of course, as usual, in Force Ghost mode with us. Uh, and I am Dr. Destroyo, Alex Arroyo. And we have no time to waste because we've missed two weeks of Tatooine already. And guess what? I've still been buying shit, so it's not like it hasn't been here. Um, so we're going to go over not one, but two things tonight so I can pack them away finally and get them out of my room. Uh, the first of my many adventures, I'm very excited to have, pull this one out. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, in honor of the Mandalorian is going to be none other than Zeha Toys Mandomania Mandalorian uh, 12-inch figure. Now, this is uh, pretty amazing, this one over here. Ladies! <coughs> and this is the one I got bamboozled and popped to getting because this is the uh, the Mando uh, from the first 15 minutes of episode one before he got his uh, started collecting his Beskar. Um so yeah, this this is uh, like literally a fifteen minute cameo of the Mandalorian, and they made a hot toys of it. Guess what? They're also made a hot toys of Pop. The Mandalorian in his new armor. The Mandalorian in his new armor, motherfucker. So I don't think I would have ordered this if I if I realized that they were gonna um, uh, switch the armor so uh, quickly. Uh, All right, I know I'm lying. Fine, I'm lying. Yes, yes. come on, man. Okay, fine. I'm trying to keep it kayfabe, brother. Anyway. Open the box. Ooh, box is beautiful, dude. The box is gorgeous, yep. It has a little dent on the inside, but not on the outside, which is good. box is gorgeous. It's got a little wraparound, little, uh, you know, gimmick around the side of it over there. Give you a little idea of the Mando's in there, which is great. Um, it's also got, as usual, the little uh, the little filler on the box here, you know, the art of the figure, which, cool. you know, looks movie ready, for you know, for the most part. It, it's hard to look at this and be like, oh, that's a toy, because it's, uh, it's pretty legit. Um... Now, something's in here that I didn't realize was in here, and I only realized it was in here when my friend opened his up, because this is the first time I'm actually opening mine up. So, The child? No, the child is not in here. That comes with the other one. You have to buy the deluxe version, and you get the floating child. You didn't get the deluxe version? That's the other version, like the one that's coming out soon, the one with the best car armor. Oh. Uh, so so here, we've got a few things. We've got a couple of hand, handos for the mandos. Yeah. Um, uh, he's got a shooting hand, two shooting hands, two fist hands that he can throw down. He's got the tracking fob, which does not light up. And he's got, I think that's, is that, that the puck? puck? I think that's the puck, right? Yeah, it looks like the puck. I don't think it's a bomb or anything. So that comes in that little package over there. That's what she said. Um, and then let's pull Mr. Mando out of his uh, carbonite freezing chamber here. So, so this comes with something that I did not know it was going to come with which I don't think was actually um, advertised, but I will take it. And that is a Stormtrooper helmet. Oh, sweet. The which one is that goes pretty. In the, pike? the one that goes in the pike. It has it actually has, a, it's not just any Stormtrooper helmet. It has a hole in it on the top of it, so you can put the pike through it. It's got the, uh, you know, the scarves coming out the back. Oh, they got it's the got, pike with it? Yep. It's got a little bit of blood on it. If you look at it there, it's a little, nice. you know, beat up and nasty and gross, which is pretty dope. Um... So that was a surprise. I think, I don't know if they decided to throw that one afterwards, but uh, I'll take it. Mando's got his weapons here. He's got his little blaster that if anybody watched this week's of Mando, came in very handy, and he's pretty good with it too. As he was popping it. He's also got the special edition, you know, that special, the, the, the this Christmas store, what it was, the holiday episode. Uh, you know, Boba Fett blaster that he's been using in season one. Pulse rifle, right? The pulse rifle. We haven't seen it in season two. It's also got the lightning that goes around the side of it, which is great. I think that's like an electro staff on the tip of that. That's what they call that. Um, to like, you know, tame the beasts. The pike is here. We know, you, we know your kosher electric staff tamed the beasts. That's right. Oh, yeah, baby. There goes the pike there for the helmet. So you could, you know, put the uh, shish kebab. Now, there's only one pike, one helmet. Is two pikes and one helmet, it seems. Uh, yes. Oh, interesting enough. I didn't also didn't know this was coming here. 
So it's not just from the first 15 minutes of The Mandalorian. It's actually from the first couple, the first episode and change of The Mandalorian because not only do they give him his Beskar armor um, shoulder pad over his shoulder pauldron over here, which he got in the first episode, they also give him the original pauldron. Ah, that nice. he has as well too. So you could peel that off and put the other one on. If I take that off, that comes off pretty easy. The Beskar one, Beskar. Um, you know, I kind of like the uh, the old armor, not more than the new armor. But and I then you could like... throw. You yeah, know, I, I like kinda... the old armor too. It was kind of grim. It was kind of gritty. It was kind of nasty. You ever see like uh, that show? Um, what was it not make my ride? The other one on uh, pit my ride. No, no, no. They went on history with uh, the guy with the. Uh, he was friends with the dudes from Vegas and Pawn Stars. He had like a rock band. Oh, he had the yeah, black yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah. I know what that was. Yeah, yeah. Custom something. Yep. Right? Uh, yep. And then he says every time that people bring in a bike and the bike's made from different parts from different bikes, it's called like a rat racer. Yeah. That's what kind of reminded me of his. Of his uh, <laughs> Of his uh, armor because it's all different armor pieces. It's not the yeah. same color. It's all different styles. St- you know, even has some clone trooper armor on him. You know, sand trooper from um, Rogue One. Does the helmet yeah. come off? The oh oh oh. So so I, I haven't tried, but do you want to take any bets if the helmet comes off? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no too. Ready? On the count of three. One two. No, it doesn't come off. There is an empty head underneath there that basically is like a, a triangular piece that's just connected to the inside of the helmet. So it does not come off. Gotcha. Um, but the helmet is the best scar, as we know already. You can see it there, right? It's pretty dope. His cape is actually awesome, too, because it's got the it's all weathered. It's got it's all tattered. It's got the holes in it. Soft goods, right? It's soft goods, baby. You know, it's soft goods. They did a great job of you know putting that on over there. He's got the leather holster for his blaster. These little two little uh, gimmicks in the back over here come out. He's also got a holder that has a magnetic clasp button on it that holds the pulse rifle to his back. Oh, sweet. And that's also connected to like this metal little plate on his belt. All the you know accoutrements on his belt are all metal. All these little you know, little little capsules like them on the, on the bat belt come up, come out, and come off. The pouch does not open. The pouches do not open there. He's got oh look that's even cooler. He's got look looks like I, I don't think those are the pucks. I think those are. The bombs, maybe, because if you take a look there, Pop, he's got the bombs on the side of his his waist over there. Oh, okay. And you could actually put the third one that is in the other thing inside there as well. And I think these are probably magnetic, and they slide off. Nope, looks like they don't slide off. I think the the the, the loose one is the only one that you could actually take off, which I'm fine with because I wouldn't take them off anyway. Um, again, he's got more pieces there. He's got Velcro that holds his belt on. His boots, he has got... The oh, he's got that. This is a, this is a traditional Mando Boba Fett piece over here. This little knee pad that he has over there. Um, again, yeah, he don't have it on the new armor. Nope, he's got all these other gimmicks over here on the side that kind of come off. These are also kind of similar to the ones that the X Wing fighter pilots had. Yeah, around their around their way their their um their ankles over there. You know what and else? Have, dude? I me. realized that this Mandalorian he don't have a cod piece like uh. Like Boba does, yeah. Like Bobo or Django. Yeah, if he's trying to protect his balls. Um, the 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 cape really fits well. They really did a great job of like layering that to make it look authentic and make it look real on there. It looks, you know, it's got enough wrinkles. It looks really cool. Um, and then if you peel off the rest of his shit over here, he's got. Does this flip open? Nope, it does not. The portions don't open there. Nope. Just trying to see if his uh, his gauntlets flip open. They do not. Um, but Mando is cool, man. He's awesome. His base is a uh, looks like a Tatooine base. It says Mandalorian. You can stick the um, pikes inside there and get busy. But uh, you, you think you think they can sell uh, more stormtrooper helmets individually, so you can customize? Uh, that's a good question. There's two pikes, and you only get one stormtrooper helmet. Um, I have not seen Hot Toys announced that sometimes they announce like little side shit like that here and there but i haven't seen them say anything or announce anything so i don't know if they're gonna do that um possible but unlikely you know you only get two pikes how many how many helmets you really need um i'm sure somebody is gonna cast that helmet and then just probably sell it on the side which is fun Uh, and you'd buy it of course i'd buy it let me get the uh, second thing (laughs) 
You just gave the fans a nice show of your ass. I love oh, it. Did the crack pop out on the back? No, the back? no, no. I'm not my dad. Anyway, second thing. Carbon freezing chamber playset from Empire Strikes Ooh. Back. 40th anniversary. Here we go. There it is right there. So uh, Hasbro was selling these a few months ago. I ordered one, then I canceled it because GameStop had it for like 30% off. So I got it from GameStop. Who's GameStop? GameStop. Sorry. Gotcha. Um, so the box is very reminiscent of the old school Empire Strikes Back box. Again, this is from the Vintage Collection. It's even got the little Kenner logo right there on the bottom. Oh, very exciting. That throws me back a lot. Um, and you can see Luke and, and Vader fighting over there. You can see Han and Lobot. He's about to get lowered into the carbonite over there. Yo, um, did you did this come out in the eighties? This come out in the eighties. Uh, I think I know it came out in the Power of the Force line in the nineties. They had one. Would you have like a little a little crane that drops Han Solo into the thing, and you pull out the carbonite block? I don't think I could be wrong, but I don't, I'm sure John Paul Raguse would be on my ass, but I don't think that it came, they made one in the in the eighties. I could be wrong though, but I don't think I am. I'm pretty sure they they didn't make. One. Um. But this one is cool somewhat because, unfortunately, it's fifty bucks, which is a really ridiculous amount of money. Well, how much? How much? How much got all was the uh, the Mando? How oh, the Mando was two eighty, I think it was somewhere around know. there. It's a lot of stuff. So this one comes with an exclusive Empire Strikes Back uh, Stormtrooper, which you can only get inside this set over here. Why is it exclusive? It's exclusive because the packaging is different than the normal Stormtrooper packaging, so they put it on a different card. They the never the same. The mold's the same. They've never had this figure released ever on this on the Empire Strikes Back card with this um this uh this picture. It was always the original photo of them like marching through the Death Star. That was the, that was the, the the original photo of that. The card's bent unfortunately, which is great because I hate fucking bent cards. Um, but, Can't uh, press it. Uh, probably not because it'll melt the fucking plastic on the thing over there. It comes completely disassembled. You would have to assemble it. There goes the you know the wires. That from the thing here go the steps and you could set you could the cool thing about it is if you want you could set a light under those steps yeah it's cause cool because it's, it's orange and you could have that glow that happens underneath there and I'm doing it through my light right now you could see you know I, I could see it from here but nobody else could see it fuck you guys um, <laughs> there's half of the platform there and then it, there's also half of the actual platform there again this wow. is where Han, Han went under now the big problem with this pop is that this is only a half of a set. So if you want to make the whole set, you need two of these fucking things. Did Spend a hundred bucks. I did not yet. No. Yeah. I'm waiting. Yet. I'm waiting for them to go on sale. Um, you know, because I'm sure at some point they're gonna get blown out for half off, and then I'll pick one up at that point. Um, and also, wait, how did I forget this? Look, you got a little Han Solo e carbonite over there. Here he goes. That's beautiful. What's that? Three and three quarters. This is three and three quarters. Yeah, it's a little Han. This is uh, the full block that they that they've made in the past before. Um, the old school Kenner one had a little hook in the back that you could, it was a hollow. You could put Han connected to the back over there. I remember that. That's, that's a, one of the, one of the, one of the more rare figures actually to get with the block. Um, but that's the carbon freezing chamber playset. Again, you need, really need two of them to get the full effect that you really would be looking for if you want to, uh, get down and have them all, uh, connect and look from there. I'm going to pull the Stormtrooper out now, put him on my wall, because I got most of my vintage stuff on my wall, which is nice. Nice. Um, but uh, it's a cool set. Unfortunately, for 50 bucks, it's really not worth 50 bucks. I think if it was price pointed at around 30 bucks, maybe it'd be a little bit better. But they did include the figure in there, which is, you know, $12.99, I guess, right now, and what they're selling them for, which is highway fucking robbery. I remember when they were $7.99 in the 90s. Um, but that's Tatooine this week again, boys. I got plenty more shit to show. I want to show you one little, little odd thing. I'm collecting all the rest of them, but I'm just going to give you a little, a little sneak preview of something we'll do probably after Christmas. They're releasing some, some repaints of some of the Black Series Trooper figures for Christmas. And, of course, I'm a psychopath, and I had to fucking buy them. They're, like, in ugly sweaters. Jesus Christ. Uh. How fucking disgusting is this, right? And they're all exclusive to, like, multiple different retailers. I need to collect the rest of them first, and then we'll deal with all of these. How many are there? Really? There's, like, five or six? I don't fucking remember. It's just, like, I'm a dead I have a problem. Tell me there's a Lobot one. 
There's that a little bit. It's all stormtroopers. Oh. It's like clone troopers, stormtroopers, brain troopers, all that shit. Does any of them anyway. have like a Hanukkah sweater on? One has like a Kwanzaa uh, no, sweater. No, I think on? it's I think it's all Christmas. I think I think oh. Star Wars is 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 very traditional. No life day sweaters. They don't. That would be a, They should have done one of those. A life day sweater. That would be great. But uh, you know, no pagan religions. We only get we only get Catholicism over here for the Jewish George Lucas. Anyway, Pop, it's been a a lot of minutes here. That's Tatooine. We'll wrap it up. You can find me at Doctor Dr underscore Destroyo. On Instagram, Alex Arroyo, MD on Twitter, Alex Arroyo on Facebook. You can find us collectively, New Force Order, official New Force Order on Facebook, NFO underscore podcast on Twitter, New Force Order on Instagram. Uh, the email address, if you want to send us anything, any comments, concerns, questions, suggestions, hate mail to Papa Don, love mail to Spiro, naughty photos to Doc, New Force Order at yahoo.com. You can find my man over there, Demetrius Papadaniolo, on all of his social media links, like Greek God Papadon on Twitter, Greek God Papadon on Instagram, and Demetrios Papadon on Facebook. This has been another fun, exciting episode of Ta Toyin. And you know what that is, Pop? Uh, no, why don't you tell me, Doc? It's just toy sweet.